Dube has followed through on his post playoff promise, adding Joe Thornton, TJ Brody, Wayne Simmons, and Zach Bogosian. Of all those moves, which one stands out for you? Well, Gino, for me, it was the signing of TJ Brody. Defense was the glaring need, and from the moment the clock struck noon to open free agency, general manager Kyle Dubas was zeroed in on the native of Chatham, Ontario. Brody ticks a number of boxes for the Leafs. First and foremost, he performed well alongside Mark Giordano, a Norris Trophy winner in Calgary. Quite simply, he is a proven top four commodity who can perform reliably in tough matchups. And he's also versatile, a lefty who can play the right side. And if Brody partners with Morgan Riley, that will give Riley the best partner he's ever had in his NHL career. Now, years three and four of the Brody contract may prove problematic, but for now, the 30-year-old bolsters a blue line that had its depth exposed last season. Okay, Mark, so after 15 straight seasons of not winning a single playoff series, what are the realistic expectations for the Leafs this year? Well, head coach Sheldon Keefe recently said the standards will be significantly higher next season. There were too many no-shows last year. Remember when they lost to an emergency backup goalie here at home? Well, that was only one of many notable lackluster performances. And then in the play-in round series against Columbus, they came out tentatively in game one against the Blue Jackets, and then they failed to seize the moment in game five. So Toronto has brought in veterans like Joe Thornton and Wayne Simmons to inject some personality into the dressing room. The young core is a year older with even more battle scars. So of course the expectation is a long playoff run, but that was the expectation last season. So it's been recalibrated. The expectation is that the players will have a great off season, a great preseason and training camp, and a great regular season. Gino, the expectation is the group will establish a high baseline effort and execution level from day one next season. All right, Mark. Mark Masters in Toronto, where apparently optimism reigns supreme there, Pooley. Step back. Look at this roster and tell me, how deep do you think this roster could go? This roster, I believe, will vie at the top of the division, whether it's the Atlantic division or a Canadian division, right at the top. And I believe they'll win a playoff round. But I'm going to point to a different direction, Gino. This is going to be on the top four forwards. It's going to be on John Tavares, Austin Matthews, Mitch Marner, and Willie Nylander. And it's going to be upon those four to be at their absolute best that they've ever been in their NHL careers. All at the same time. Not with two of them leading the way one night, one of them leading the way the other night, two of them not to be found on a different night. All four have to be good every single night. They've addressed their goaltending depth. They've addressed their defensive depth. They've addressed their third and fourth line depth. They're different than they were before. Forget about all those things that everyone talks about and has talked about. I'm going to point at those top four guys and say, you're absorbing north of 50% of the salary cap. You have to be great every single night. Not just good, but great. If they do that, they will be at the top of the Atlantic or in brackets, the Canadian division and they'll win a playoff round. Leaf fans are hearing this year after year. There's so much potential, so much promise. What they need is some good performances. The bottom line for the Leafs, they need playoff success. The last time they made it out of the first round, that was 2004 under Pat Quinn. Over the past four seasons, they've hit walls against the Caps, the Bruins, and most recently Columbus in the qualifying round.